Good morning po at ngayon po ay narito po tayo sa ating tutorial ng Google Meet, How to Use It to Teach Online. Once again, ako po si Beverly Suarez. Ito po ang aking YouTube channel para sa mga karagdagang tutorials pagdating sa online teaching. Okay, proceed na po tayo sa ating tutorial. Google Meet is part of Google Suite but personal accounts can also access this. Google Meet is used to achieve or to have that kind of face-to-face -face meeting using video and audio as well as chat. Where can you find it? It's on the three dots at the top over here. When you click on those Meet is one of the options. Now, let me click on this. And you can see here my homepage for Google Meet. There are two main options. You can either join a meeting or I can start a meeting. Now, if you are joining a meeting, you either have a URL or a join code. But let's look at the start of making or starting a meeting first. So let's click on that button. And I am going to start a meeting by giving it a nickname. Try lang natin maglagay ng nickname na demo tutorial. Okay, as soon as I click continue, it's going to ask permissions. And once you've given it permissions, you can see here that I have a preview of what I have to see. <laughs> okay, this is a great way of testing Yan, testing everything and making sure that your webcam works and your audio works. And if it is not working, well then you can always go into the th the three dots here. These are the option by clicking it. You can check your settings. Now, these are the settings. We have two options there, one for the for, one for the audio and one for the video. Now, let's see sa audio muna. I Okay, pwede dito i-check yung quality. Pwede mo rin dito i-change yan. Una, pag nakikita niyo pong gumagalaw, Itong microphone, ibig sabihin, gumagana po ang inyong microphone. Pag hindi po siya gumagana, you can click the drop-down button at iselect nyo po yung tamang version ng microphone nyo. Importante na alam nyo po ang version or yung model ng inyong headset. Paalala lang po sa online teaching, mas maigi kung meron kayong headset na ganito. Ito na ang pinakamura na pwede nyo gamitin sa online teaching. Believe me, nanggaling na ako dyan. Nag-online ESL ako sa mga Chinese at Japanese. At ito talaga ang pinapagamit nila. Okay. Next ay speakers. Meron ditong button ng test. Yan. Pag narinig nyo po yung may ringing test, parang sa Skype test yan eh. Kung gumagana ba yung iyong headset. Pag nagre-ring siya at naririnig mo, gumagana siya. It's working. If not, iselect nyo po kung ano yung still model ng headset nyo. Okay, ito pong headset ko. Nausog ba to? Hindi? Okay. Sana, ayan, nakikita nyo naman ako siguro. No? Itong headset na to, ang brand nito ay Red Dragon H310 Muse. Nabili ko to sa Data Blitz. Sa halaga ang 2,500 pesos only. Okay. Now, going back, yan na po yung audio configurations. Punta naman po tayo sa video configurations. Okay. Dito sa video, you can choose una-una the camera. Okay. Currently, nakikita nyo, may preview ako dito. Hello. Okay, so ayan. And then, ito yung mga cameras na meron ako. Isa lang po ang webcam ko. Ayun pa po pala. Isa pang investment na kailangan ninyong bilhin sa online teaching ay webcam. Yan ay kung desktop ang iyong ginagamit. Sa akin kasi desktop ang, ano ko, ang device ko. Kung laptop naman, eh may 
webcam naman talaga, may built-in na yan, no? So, hindi mo na kailangan bumili ng webcam. Okay, so, yun po. Ang tanong, pwede bang gamitin ang cellphone sa online teaching? I suggest na, well, from my perception, okay, bilang inyong ICT coordinator at isang experience na online ESL tutor, hindi po advisable na gamitin ang tablet, lap, uh, tablet or smartphone sa online teaching. Dapat talaga, meron kang laptop or desktop. Okay, makikita niyo po dito sa tutorial ko kung bakit. Okay, so, ito kasi, ito talaga yung webcam ko. Logitech HD webcam C270, 1,500 sa Lazada. Okay, malinaw yan. Kasi nga, naka-desktop nga ako, no? Pero kung naka-laptop ka, huwag ka na bumili, di ba? Manicam and snap camera, ito yung mga pang-change ko ng backgrounds. Okay, naituro ko na kung paano yung snap camera kasi libre siya. Okay, yung X-Split, ginamit ko to nung nag-stream ako sa gaming. Okay, ang anda dami kong kaartehan, no? So, ayan, pili lang kayo, no? Kung ayaw nyo ng pa-effect-effect na background na ganito at play naman yung background nyo, yung mismong webcam na ang piliin nyo. Pero kung gusto nyo mga pa-effect-effect na ganyan, yung snap camera na tutorial ko, i-follow nyo lang po yun at yan po ang piliin nyo. Okay, yan ang muna pipiliin ko kasi yan yung sinet ko na background, eh. Saka para consistent tayo. Next, resolutions. Okay? Ang resolutions ay ang linaw ng inyong video. At the moment, nakaset po siya sa standard na, na 360p. 360p, maliit. Pwede mo naman tong i-up depending on your connection. Gawin mong 720? Pwede naman. Okay, kung gusto mo. Okay. Uh, ito rin. Pwede rin pataasan. Pero, mas prefer ko sa kanya na 360p. Bakit? Kasi ang mga magsa 720p lang ay dapat ang Mbps ng internet mo ay nasa 30 Mbps. Okay? Pataas 35, mga ganun. Okay? 35 para kaya niya talaga. Okay? Kasi kung hindi kaya ng internet mo tapos nag 720p ka, maglalag yung video. Okay, so ayun. So, ito, ililive ko muna, muna siya as is. Ganyan na lang muna siya. Then, I will click on done. Okay. Once I start my meeting, I'm going to click on the join now button. This allows me to go into a room and have a face-to-face -face meeting with all the participants. Okay, let's wait. There. In addition to that, I can also share my screen later on. And let's say that you don't want to have that face-to-face -face and all you want to do is to share your screen. Well, then you can use the present button that I will show you later on, which allows you to share your screen without the video. So right now, nakajoin na ako and nakikita nyo na yung background ko, pero may nakikita kayo dyan sa gitna. Ito ang main page natin. You can see the first thing. Here is the name of our meeting room, a young demo tutorial. In addition to that, we have a join link, which is this one. Na pwede mong highlight, copy, and paste it sa inyong announcement sa Google Classroom. Pwede mo rin naman i-click itong jo copy joining info para magpipaste ka na lang do sa Google Classroom. So either of these pwede. You can also add people, like manually add people. Itatype mo lang ka nalang email. By the way, ang mga students po ay bibigyan ng sarili nilang DepEd email. Yes, pero ang domain name po nun ay DepEdMarikina.ph. Okay, for example, Juan de la Cruz at DepEdMarikina.ph. So, ayun, mangyayari po yun sa enrollment. Okay. Na yun po yung kanilang talagang email na gagamitin pag magla-login sila sa Google Classroom at pag kayo ay magpapag-Google Meet sa kanila. All right. So, ayun. So, kapag nag-type ka dito ng email, so ayan, ito kasi yung mga ginamit namin doon sa encoding nung itong nakaraang linggo. Ah, uh, magsi-send yun ng link sa kanilang email. It's an email invitation. And when they click on that link, they are brought into the Google Meet. Now, I'm going to leave it 
as it is for now and i'm going to show you the interface the interface of google meet is very stripped down and very basic first things first you can mute yourself this one again microphone is turned off okay obvious naman nakamute siya kasi pula tapos may slash and you can unmute it you can also turn off your camera dito sa may video icon kung saan di makita yung camera pangalan mo lang or picture mo and you can turn it on okay now that's a very straightforward na ano na technique okay okay uh, we also have other functions like the adding of captions. Itong nasa gilid. Dito, gusto nyo ba yung, ayan o, oh, may pa-captions ka? Yes, it's not perfect. It only accepts English. See? Can you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> Pag Tagalog, ang sinasabi mo dito, <laughs> Nag-iiba. <laughs> okay. So, yan. Yes, hindi po perfect yung caption na yan. Okay? Wala naman talagang, wala, parang wala naman talagang perfect na ano, caption, no? But, uh, it's a great help for those students that struggle with English or any language that you are holding in your meeting. Pwede kaya dito Spanish? <laughs> so, ayan, anyway, Okay, i-turn off muna natin yan. Okay, so option nyo na yun kung gusto nyo siyang gamitin. Okay, next ay yung present now. As I've said earlier, you can have a meeting first, like this one, the visual, the the face-to-face -face meeting. And then afterwards, you can present your screen later on. Okay, so when, uh, when I am about to... Before I click this one, mag-open muna ako ng presentation ko. Okay, let's say I have this. This is my very first lesson sa first quarter. Okay, open ko na nga rin siya, sabi ko nga. Okay, and then, ikiklik ko tong present now. Meron kang tatlong options dyan. Ano yung tatlong options? Okay, isa-isahin muna natin siya. Meron po tayong uh, entire screen. Okay, pag kinlik nyo po itong entire screen, magtatanong yan ng anong screen ba? Okay, dito kasi kaya nakikita nyo, two screens kasi dual screen po ako. So, gusto nyo ba ipakita yung buong screen? Okay, option nyo na yun. Next, try naman natin a window. Lahat ng nakabukas na window. Or gusto nyo may ipapakita lang kayo na currently nakabukas na window. So, ito. Ito ang Pwedeng gamitin. Alimbawa, yung gusto nyo pakita ay yung PowerPoint presentation nyo na nakabukas. Okay. So, ayan. Nakikita nyo na to. Uh, wait ah. Presentation. Dito sa gilid, kiklik tayo dito. Sa presentation. Ayun. So, kapag uh, window naman yan, kinlik ko yung presentations ko. Okay, medyo may ano lang siya, lag dun sa kanyang pag-video. Okay, pero ayun, pwede ka makapag-contact na ng lessons dyan. Wala kang video, pero nag-share ka ng screen. Okay, yun po yun, share screen na window. Okay, and pag ayaw mo na mag-share ng screen, natapos na yung pag-ano mo, pag-share niyan, pwede mo i-click ulit dito, and then click stop presenting. Ngayon, babalik na po yan sa inyong webcam view. Ayan na. Okay, may isa pa po dito which is the Chrome tab. Actually, ito lahat ng tabs. Alam nyo naman yung tabs, ba? Yung dito, new tab. New tab. Okay, so yun. Nasaan ako? Yun po yun. Lahat ng tabs. Kung anong tabs na gusto nyo ipakita. Halimbawa, may online link kayo ng tabs. Halimbawa, Google Earth. Ayan. So, yun. Pwede nyo i, ano, ipaview yung tab na yun. Okay. Okay. Uh, next. Wait, nasa na ako? 
Hmm. Okay, punta naman tayo doon sa may taas. Okay, sa may upper right corner. If you want to see who's in your meeting and where your participants are, well then you can go to the top right corner. We have here two buttons. Pag click nyo po it actually ito. Two buttons, ayan. People and chat. Click natin ang people. Yan ang icon ng people, tao. So, makikita nyo po dito yung list ng participants nyo. Okay. So, ayun. And then, remotely, actually, uh, ganito po yan, ha? You can ask them to, un to mute themselves. Your students, ask them na, children, okay, please mute yourselves para hindi magulo sa atin. Hindi, malang distraction sa mga ingay. Kasi for sure may may ingay na background dyan. Click na lang lang yung mute. I-orient nyo po sila. Turuan nyo po sila sa orientation day. Sa inyong first day kung paano gumamit nito. Okay, ayun. Para nakamute sila. Okay. And then, pag magsasalita na lang sila, pwede silang, pwede nilang i-unmute yung sarili nila. Okay, so ayun po. Actually, from here, pwede ka rin, pag may list na dyan ng students, makikita mo, box by box, yung mga participants mo, pwede mo sila actually i-remove. <laughs> so, ayun. Mm, there. And you can pin your camera to them. For example, kinlik ko yan, and nakapin. Nakita nyo yung pin? Ibig sabihin, ako lang yung makikita nyo dito sa video na to. Dito sa malaking screen. Okay, pag inanpin ko, Uh, automatic na yan kung sino actually nagsasalita. Siya yung presenter. Siya yung makikita dun sa ano, mal main view. Okay. Now, the second icon is the chat. Dito po sa chat, you can use the chat for questions. So, for when you're having a meeting with students and you can ask them to mute their microphones nga and simply pop the question to the chat room okay and when you are addressing it well then they can unmute themselves and they can reply or respond so this chat is a public chat and that means everyone sees every message pop into this chat room okay next back to our main view Now, as you can see, I'm using the webcam and I'm going to click on the three dots over here which will give me more options. The one that I like using is the change layout where you can change the layout of your screen. You can try different layouts of your screen. You can leave it automatically change like this one. Auto change kung sino nga yung nagsasalita. Siya yung nabu-view. Or you can choose the sidebar, like this one. Kung saan yung mga participants mo nandito sa gilid. Okay? And then, we also have some spotlight. Ang spotlight, di ko pa ito na-try. Ang paborito kasi dito, ano lang eh, tiled. No? Pero pag maramihan, maliit na yung tiled. Okay? Tiled yung screen nyo. You can always change the layout of your screen. Even kahit nasa, even during meeting. Okay. Okay. Another more advanced version is to record your meeting. This is usually available for enterprise account. Good thing sa deped email natin, available siya. And also sa free account, pwede na rin. So here, when you click this record button, you are going to be recording the entire, like the whole... Meeting na meron. Okay, and that file will be sent to your Google Drive. Okay, click lang natin yung accept button. And dito sa top left, once you record in your meeting, everyone will be notified that the meeting is being recorded. And you will see a little icon on the top left corner. Now, that one, that red icon of Rick. <laughs> Yes, may sound, di ba? <laughs> that, item, that item tells me that this meeting is being recorded. And then that recording or the video recording will be sent to my Google Drive when the meeting is finished. 
Okay, but first, syempre, before you record, hit the record meeting, tell your students that I will be recording this meeting. Do you have any objections? Please tell me now. So, yan. Ganon. Pag wala namang objections, you can start recording. Okay? There. Uh, ayun. Ayun yung option ng stop recording. Pwede, rin, pwede mo rin palang stop. Kahit na gust kung gusto mo na sure stop agad, di mo tatapusin yung buong meeting. Oh, para sa nga ba yan? Actually, para yan sa mga estudyante slow maka-analyze. Okay? Yung hindi sila makasabay sa face ng mga, mga fast learners. Pwede mo upload yung mga videos ng halimbawa, yung lesson mismo. Uh, yung whole recording para pati yung mga discussions nyo na record din. And babalikan niya yun. Ano saan nga ba? Ano nga ba yung tinuro ni ma'am na ganito? Yung Pythagorean Theorem? Uh -huh. Ganun, okay. So, ayan, babalikan niya yun, no? Magandang, ano to, feature to para mabalik-balikan ni students yung lesson. Okay. Next, I, let's say that you finish your meeting and you're ready to leave. You can just say goodbye, everyone, and simply hang up down, which is over here, that button. And this means that you now have left this meeting. Ito na itsura niyan. However, all your students are still present in that meeting. So it's always good practice to give them into the habit of having your meeting. And then have them leave. And maybe you can be the last person to leave that meeting. Well, I would love to see this feature to be added. Where I can just close down the room and nobody stays after the host has left. And hopefully that's something that Google will consider rolling out soon. So wala pa talaga yan kay Google eh. Okay, hopefully. No? <laughs> okay. So ayun, that is all for this tutorial. Thank you very much everyone. And... Please do subscribe to my channel. Just look for the name Beverly Suarez. And dun po yung itsura ko. Click the bell notification to be notified whenever I upload new videos like this. Thank you for watching. Bye!